All right, friends, what I want to talk to you about today is doing a repair if you have an issue like this right here. This, if this is all that happened to your board, let me show you the back of it, then this can be repaired very simply without really doing anything other than first you'd want to remove this so it doesn't short to anything. And you see that there's a tab right there. So let's go back to the other side. So on the other side right here, you see that this relay, there's a tab right there. So all you would do is on my website, I have these jumpers that look like this. They are loop on one side, they're a spade connector on the other side. And all you would do is jump from this spade connector and you could cut this piece right here off. You don't have to keep that. That's if you need to do a double jumper but you would push this on to there and then you would hook this end, the loop, to the here, right here. So you would take this jumper off and put the loop side right there and I'm going to show you an example here of how to, to measure it. Um, so you know which tab it is you could do a couple of things. You could do a visible look. If you just look at this and then you flip it around and look at the back, you can see that right there goes straight through to there. Now, in some of them, they even have a tab down here. They'll have an extra tab here that you could jump from to make the connection. You could see this one doesn't. And you could leave this or pull this off, but basically, I'm going to measure this real quick for you. So if you go right here, this is, I've got this in ohms mode where you'll just hear beep if you touch these two together. Okay. So all I'm going to do is touch here and touch here. And you see that that is making a connection. So all you're going to do is jump from there to your heater. Now let's look at this one. This one would be the same thing, very similar. You touch from here to here, and you can see that makes connection. To here, it makes no connection because the relay is open. When the relay closed, so all you're doing is jumping from this tab to here to make this connection. So if you were gonna do this repair, you would simply remove this. If this one was damaged, And whenever you're messing with your heater, you, there's a, uh, on this particular one, there's a quarter up under. I've already loosened all this, so I didn't do that, but you would usually use a pair of needle nose pliers up under to hold this so you don't twist it off. But in this particular case, the repair would be this right here. We would jump from here and you would simply jump down to there and put your nut back on and of course make sure that you hold the electrode with a pair of pliers or a quarter inch or a three-eighths wrench right here and that is a repair right there that's basically all you're doing is this goes through this solder uh, connection right here. All you're doing is bypassing it and just going directly from the relay directly to the heater. You're bypassing the board and that's how you solve something like this. Now this happens because somebody replaced the heater at some point and didn't get the nuts tight. They either didn't get this nut tight or they didn't get that nut tight and that's how you get this kind of repair. So in this case you would jump from there to the heater. In this case, and you can see this is a closed style relay, in this case, you would jump from there to the heater. Now, if you were doing this side, that's a problem because there are no tabs. So you could, to save the boards, you could buy, I have relays on the website that you could buy that have the tabs on them that look more like these that you could replace this with. But you can see the old style has tabs on all of them. So different boards are going to have different levels of tabs. 
This particular one doesn't have it, but there are some that have a solderless connector here that you could jump from there back to the heater. So there's several different ways to do it. I offer these on the website uh, that have the spade connector on one end that have the loop on the other end. I have them in singles. I have them in doubles. But all you're doing is just bypassing the printed circuit on the board. It's a very simple repair. Anyone can do it. And now you can see that if you check from here to there, it's making a connection, which is all you want it to do. Just make sure you tighten these good so you don't damage the relay because you can damage the relay. And it's just as good a repair as the original board circuit, in my opinion. And it saves you from buying a whole board. So go to Hot Tub Parts of America right now, dot com, and look for board jumper. And if you need a relay, look for T90 relay, T90 relay. Board jumpers, T90 relays. I am the spa guy. I don't know much, but I do know hot tubs. And I'm here to save you money so you're not replacing your entire board. You're just doing a little simple connection. And if you're uh, not competent, don't hurt yourself with this. This is 230 volts uh, to 250, so you can hurt yourself here. So just make sure that you know what you're doing. Power down when you're doing these repairs, of course. But this is not rocket science. This is a very simple repair that most people that have a little bit of technical experience can do. Go there now. And again, the Spa Guy saves the day. Thanks, Spa Guy. Your hot tub superhero.